uh, Jim Van Horn. I was here for nine and a half years. I was the uh, director of television, core television coordinator, whatever you want to call it. And uh, right now I'm semi-retired doing some broadcast, primarily for the uh, disabled community. There are a lot of very good memories, wonderful memories, but whenever I think of the college and, and I think about what's good about it and, and, and what has transpired, it's, I have to go to uh, graduation day. Um, and when parents come up to me and, uh, and say to me, thank you for what you've done for Johnny or Susie or whoever, uh, they came to you as a child, they're leaving as an adult. Uh, I've actually had parents come up to me in, in tears, uh, in tears of joy uh, because of, uh, of what, uh, what I supposedly had done for the kids. And all I say to them is, hey, I opened the door for them. You know, they walk through, they had the tools to walk through and, and that's why they're graduating and uh, have such a bright future. A lot of the kids came in with the idea that they wanted to be on air. And the first question they say, well, why do you, be, why do you want to be on air? I said, well, I know sports. I said, okay, you know sports. What do you know about television? Uh, nothing. It's one thing to know sports, but if you can't tell the story on camera under pressure, it, it, it doesn't serve any purpose. Uh, there's a difference between knowing something and being able to communicate the knowledge that you have. And that is, to me, the biggest surprise that a lot of students have is thinking that just because they know sports, they can be a broadcaster, and nothing is farther from the truth. Uh, first of all, it was hilarious. <laughs> it was just, uh, it, was, uh, it was heartwarming to see. Uh, you know, as a teacher, you try to be fair with everyone, and uh, there are some people you can push harder than others, some people you can't push at all. And to see a group of uh, 44 graduates stand up and all of them have a mustache like that, I don't think it's just a tribute to me. I think it's a, it's a tribute to every instructor who is uh, at the school and, uh, and a tribute for what, what we helped them achieve over the two years that they were here. I think it's the, uh, the gold standard of, of broadcast schools for people who want to be on air. Um, I think the experience that they gained here is practical experience. Um, there's very little theory discussed about the history of television, the history of cameras, and, and all the rest of the history of the media. From day one, you are on camera. You are doing the job. Uh, you are learning to write. You are learning to be a camera person. You are learning to edit, learning to shoot. And there's no better teacher than actual practical experience. And for two years, they get that practical experience. And when they leave here, they are ready to hit the ground running as opposed to having a six-week period where you have to adjust to the to the style that the company that you're working for is doing. Um, you're ready to accomplish whatever it is you're hired to do when you leave here.